Well, let's cover some of the most frequently asked questions in the Simple Cut software. One of the first is that there's nothing in object properties and nothing in tool options. You'll notice that something on the screen needs to be selected before object properties and the options in tool options become available. Tool options is an interactive menu, meaning it will always change depending on what tool or technique you have selected. Always look up at tool options when you select a new technique. Remember to hover over each icon to get not only the name of the icon, but a description of what that tool can do. Whenever you see the small black triangle at the lower right of an icon, it means that it can fly out. Click and drag a little to the right to see the options that you get in the flyout menus. These are available for all the tools that have this black triangle. One of the other frequently asked questions is why when an object is selected, are you not able to select either fill or outline for that particular object? You'll always want to look underneath the palette at the bottom left. This menu underneath the palette shows exactly what colors have been selected for the design. I can see that cyan has been selected as an outline because I see the pencil in the upper left corner. That means it's been selected as the outline color. If I selected a different color, you'll see that reflected in the current color palette here. And if I hover, this box that it always exists to the bottom left indicates that no color has been selected and I see the fill bucket and that means that no fill is available for this object and thus the object properties fill tab is not available. I can also see that in the sequence manager the icon you see on the left is for fill and the icon you see on the right is for outline. Select a fill for this object by clicking in the lower right of any of the color chips in the color palette. You'll see that the color appears and in object properties you're able to select the fill tab. To add additional techniques to object properties select the select techniques icon. Here I can select additional techniques that I might like to use for my design. OK will apply. Now for this particular fill, I might decide that as a fill technique, I would like that as an applique. You'll see that in the sequence manager, you have an A in the area to the left where the fill property is indicated and to the right where the outline property is indicated, it shows cut. I could change that to a running stitch. Always look at the sequence manager and change your colors and look at what has been selected in the lower menu of the palette. Because I added the possibility for paint as one of my techniques, my palette's been divided into two with thread default colors on the left and brush or felt pen default colors on the right. The last issue would be toolbars or sequence manager tool options that disappear or become too small or are accidentally turned off. The first thing to look at is the view menu. Come up to the view menu and underneath the view menu, first make sure that the sequence manager has a check mark which indicates that it is available. Drop down to toolbars and check to make sure that the items that you want to see have a check mark. Sometimes you'll accidentally move or displace an area for a toolbar. If you accidentally displace a toolbar, you'll notice when you grab the top of the tool options, I can either click twice and it will pop back into its default location, or I can hover over the arrows, which will indicate where that will be replaced. And I just click and release, and the tool options goes right back to the top. If I need to resize, I hover my mouse until I get the two arrows and then I can drag to create a larger area for the toolbar to sit. This option for resizing works the same with all of the docking panels, the palette, the object properties. You can resize these areas until your workspace looks exactly the way that you would like it. And one last tip, if you need to reset all of your toolbars to their default setting, Exit the software and restart the software while holding down the shift key.